So I take the test. They take forever to figure out the results. And then the guy tells me, Mr. Everett, it appears that you quite don't know what you'd like to focus on for your future. And I'm like, yeah, no shit. Isn't that the reason I came to talk to you in the first place, Mr. Psychologist Guidance Counselor? I'm not worried, so I don't have a major yet. So what? Right, don't let them stress you out. They're much more comfortable when everyone fits in nice little pigeonholes. Hell, college is supposed to be where you figure out what you're good at. But what if I'm good at something that I don't really want to do? Well, sometimes you just have to make a choice and see what happens. I don't know how I'd feel. I mean, I didn't think I'd spend all day in a lab writing down long-ass ID numbers for every single sample test we do anything with. But I've been focused on physics for you so long. You know, that still impresses the hell out of me. What? Physics. I can't imagine majoring in physics. And then, how many women are there in your department? Well, okay, three. Counting me. See, that's just cool. You're just being charming. I'm just being honest. But if you're finding it charming, I won't argue. I had a really nice time tonight, Bill. You want to go get some coffee? I've got a really early class. I could wake you up early. Good night, Bill. What color? Well, I'd rather not say. Red? No, it's not red, but... Blue? No, please, shouldn't we figure out... Periwinkle? Ah, I see. Well, don't worry, Jimmy. This sort of thing's not as uncommon as you might think. Damn it. What the fuck?
Where's the damn camera? You've had your future planned out since you were in high school. Hello? Is this Bill Everett? Yeah, that's me. Mr. Everett, this is Dr. DeWitt's office at the Behavioral Health Center. We just wanted to remind you about your appointment this morning, 9 a.m. Yeah, I know, I know. You know what? I'll figure it out. We wouldn't want you to miss another one. Hello? Yeah, I'll be there. College is supposed to be where you figure out what you're good at. Maybe when you do figure it out, you'll be less of a jerk. William, we've spoken about this before on numerous occasions. You know what kind of stresses you're putting yourself through. Yeah, I know, Doc, but this, this is different. You're in a very uncertain time in your life in general. I went through the same things when I was your age. It can be, unconsciously, very scary having to choose a path. It can seem like a permanent thing, and not wanting to make a mistake is perfectly natural. The indecision can be comfortable. But William... Please stop calling me that. What? William, I don't like to be called that. Oh. Well, as I was saying, sometimes the things we find most comfortable can be the most damaging. Damaging enough to make me start hallucinating? It's possible. <laughs> These, they don't feel like hallucinations. And what does a hallucination feel like? They're just these dumb little, like, some decision just happened to go one way and I'm being shown that it could have gone the other way or something. And there's little things too. Stuff moving around, like when I'm not looking. Really? Were you always wearing that tie? What tie? Just tell me, are you wearing a tie or not? What the hell? What are you doing in here? We were just talking. Listen, son, if you want a session, you're gonna have to make an appointment. You can't just wander in here. Hey, what's your name? See anything yet? No. Nothing? Uh-uh. Oh, yeah, see something. <laughs> I don't see anything, dude. Of course you don't, because now I want it to happen, so of course it won't. <laughs> Story of your life, Billy. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Whatever. You're the one who thinks he's seen himself on a television show. What's that? I don't know. Thought it was a camera or something, but it's just a chunk of metal. Found it right when all this shit started happening to me. <laughs> yeah? And uh, maybe the aliens left it behind right after they abducted you. Maybe it's... Uh, I don't know. Those numbers look like some sort of ID, right? Yeah, I guess. It's got something to do with this. Whatever the hell this is. Whatever you say, Willie. Dude, don't call me that, alright? What? Willie, Billy, whatever. You know I don't like those names. Dude. You told me to call you Willie the first time that I met you. I have ne- Dave? Oh, shit. Hello? Dave, man, where the hell are you? This is going way too far, man. Well, there's no Dave here. What? Sorry, man, wrong number. No, 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 this has been Dave's number for the last three years. Look, there's no Dave here, man. You've got the wrong number. Oh, there it is.
there it is. I was looking for that. What? See you later. The postdocs are the ones that actually use the test masks. Dave! That's still pretty neat. Dave! What's up? Uh, hey, Will, uh, Bryce, this is Will. We have a couple of classes together. Nice to meet you. Wait, you. just wait. Do you know what this is? It looks like campus ID code, but I've never seen that specific thing before. I'm sorry. What the hell, dude? You just leave while I'm standing there talking to you? should see that shrink. Maybe you need... Excuse me, do you know Professor Wheeler? Wheeler? Here. Um, no, there's no Wheeler here. Of course there isn't. Excuse me. Where did you get that? You know what this is? Yes. It's a standardized mask for field effect and high energy experiments. I co-own the company that manufactures them. If you have stolen it... No, 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 I didn't steal anything. You are going to be in no, a lot of no, trouble. No, li me. Listen, please, I need your help. Well, I'm not in the habit of helping thieves. What's your name? I didn't steal it. My name is Bill Everett. I'm just a student. Okay, calm down. This thing, Fine. it's just it. Just follow me. Say you flip a quarter. It comes down one side or the other. Or the edge. Sure, rarely. Maybe the quarter doesn't even know which way it landed till one of us looks at it. But there's an interpretation of quantum mechanics that says that the quarter lands both sides and the edge every single time. We just see one result because when the coin lands, the entire universe splits in three. It's heads, another tails, and another the edge. Complete universes with another you and another me looking at a quarter that landed tails. Every single choice creates a whole new set of parallel worlds. That's what's happening to me. I'm, I'm seeing these other universes. I'm, I'm shit, I'm, I'm flipping between them. And this thing is the cause of it. All right, enough. Like I said, it was a cute joke, but I'm, I'll give you credit for that thing. It really sells it. But the ID code is gibberish, and we don't even have a protocol running remotely like that. Not to mention the timestamp is over seven years off. No, I'm not joking. I'm sorry, but this is getting tiring. Like I said, 
Cute joke, but I have a lecture to prepare for. Please see yourself out. This isn't a joke or a fake. I'm not going nuts. I'm not hallucinating. These things are happening. Mm, I'm sure they are. Please take off your shirt. Definitely putting out some sort of field. You're energized. I think that every time you slip from one universe to the next, you're, you're picking up some sort of residual. Okay, fine, good. You know what it is now. How are you gonna cure me? Cure? Oh, no, no, no. With enough funding and years of research, I might be able to duplicate what's happening, but. How many years? You bastards take seven years to figure it all out. You try to push this thing through different universes or whatever the hell, and instead, you shot it back in time seven years into my fucking apartment and got this cross-time energy shit all over me? You know what, fuck this! I'm not gonna be a guinea pig. Mr. Everett, if, if you- You know, I'd rather flip around through parallel worlds or whatever the hell forever than sit down and quietly help you figure out how to do this to me in the first place. Mr. Everett, Son, are you supposed to be in here? No, I'm most definitely not supposed to be here. Just, just give me a sec. May I ask what you're doing in here then, sir? Just retrieving a personal item from another universe. How are you gonna cure me? Kimmy, sure. You slip from one universe to the next. Yeah, you're energized. 